Hey there everybody, welcome to Jack Pine Savage Outdoors. As with all fishing, we decided to take a weekend and go scout out some new lakes in our area. We found a lake that's multi-species in the Pigeon River area of northern Michigan. Um, and we'd had some friends that has had some success out there, so we decided to head out there. Uh, we brought all kinds of bait from minnows to waxies to spawn bags to trout worms, uh, artificial, you name it. We were going to throw them at them and uh, see what species we could pull out of this lake. So uh, stick around and see what we managed to pull out of these ice holes. Um, and again, thanks for stopping by. We decided to settle in for the night, have some dinner, and figure out a game plan for the next day. And we brought in the panoptic system and kind of just looked at the depth contours of the lake, determined where we were going to fish. So uh, we got a good night's rest and headed out early in the morning before daybreak to get to our spot. We motored out and uh, began right away by setting up some jaw jackers in a grid, um, but uh, let's see how it goes. Peeping up on Dallas here, trying to look into some holes. Hopefully it's kind of dark, but hopefully you guys can see what's going on. All right, so I got tiny little, these are coho spawny sacks. I'm gonna try running that on this jacker. How far are you gonna send her down? Mm -hmm. I think probably in the foot of the bottom, I'd say. Yeah. What bait are you using on that? Spawny sack. On a. Mm, that is a size eight Raven specialist hook. Oh. So those are your steelhead hooks. Uh, small for steelhead. Okay. Yeah, I guess an eight might be all right for small steelhead, but it's about trout size. Right. Uh, ice stop, non-toxic fishing line de-icer. You fill this little blue dude about halfway full of this stuff. Make sure you keep your finger on the bottom. It does kind of look like a slip bobber, but it's not a slip bobber. You snap the cap on, and then you stick that down in your ice hole. And this non-freezing fluid keeps your line from freezing in. Oh, look at that. Yeah, right. Come on, eat my spawny. Oh, he went away. There's another one though. Yeah, so we're on a fishy spot. We're fishing 10 to 20 feet of water. Dal's running a spawny here. I'm gonna try some waxies on a jacker. Uh, maybe use the jigging base. Then we're gonna set up the shop and uh, try jigging for them in the warmth. Probably about 8 a.m. <laughs> my best guess. Check in on Dallas. Setting up a jaw jacker. So on this jacker, we've got a glow resin treble hook for a little bit of attractant. That was a feisty minnow, that's what you're looking for. The biggest discussion is perch minnows. Baby perch, minnows for perch, minnows that look like perch. Why do they call them perch minnows? Put it in the comments below. Got a minnow on this one. Jacker juice. Drop it. Drop it like top. This jacker set. Using the Frostbite 39 light dipstick rods today on our jaw jackers. So this is a jig and jaw jacker base. 
this and then it kind of just marries up to it like this that's the only reason why that holes on the bottom of these jaw jackers is for this jigging base and then you put a tooth wheel i always use the big tooth wheel here i'll grab it in a second and show you but this just kind of rotates and then these arms come out and that becomes the jigging jaw jacker So this thing just keys into this, like that, and then at least takes a little while. We'll see how it rotates and then jigs. It comes with three different gear bases, but I know a lot of guys online are 3D printing their own or cutting pieces out of these to kind of make it their own, but I haven't had very much success with them, so I haven't been really messing with them a lot. Let's get this thing set up. So I'm in about 15 feet of water. Kind of the similar approach as Dallas with these freeze stops. These are really nice. We're just gonna use a VMC Moon Eye, eighth ounce, see that? And then we'll just put a minnow kind of dorsal hook on it. And like I said, it's about 15 feet of water here, so we'll send her down to about 10. And then with the bow, this is a 30 inch rod, with the bow it'll bring it down another foot or something like that. But. So yeah, I'm just kind of dorsal hooking these things so they got some wiggle. And then yeah, use the non-toxic fishing de-icer. Plug bottom of this up with your finger. I never fill them. I always just kind of put a little in there. Um, then you close the top. Maybe. And then you set it. There's bottom. Two or three cranks. Set it like this. These loops at the end of the jaw jacker, just like setting a traditional jaw jacker. Keep your face out of the way. Put the loop on there, bring that down. This gets fed up. But that's it. And see how it jigs up and down? So the inherent problem with the jigging bases is that you get like ice crystals on your line because it's jigging up and down in and out of the water. And these freeze stop bases really help with that because that line's always kind of soaked in that de-icing fluid. So it makes it so you really don't even ice up on the line. The disadvantage, of course, is you have to kick your hole out of ice when you actually get a fish on it. Um, but that's why help really comes in. Um, but yeah, that's the jig and jaw jacker base. I'm gonna let this camera sit here for a second in the hopes that this goes off. We were having pretty limited success on all different kinds of bait, on all different kinds of jigs, even on bear hooks. So we started taking our jaw jackers and using them to kind of scout around the lake again by kind of going into a grid pattern. Um, every hundred feet we'd drill a hole, keep inching towards the mouth of that creek and see if we could pick up on some of these trout. It seemed though that there was a lot of traffic and maybe the fish in the lake had been too pressured by previous fishermen, um, but we were bound and determined to see what species we could muster out of this lake by trying different depths all the way from 5 feet to 30 feet um, with all different kinds of lures. Um, we had some success pulling some fish out of the holes so stick around and take a look. Fill up. Let's keep that middle a little bit higher. Jacker!
didn't come off. What do you know? He's a pretty little stud though. Check him out. Real gold. Really gold. A little bit of orange on the fins. He's pretty beat up. This guy's a scrapper. Ted's got something on the jacker. No, nope, it's gone. It's gone. Did you see it tug? I did see it tug. Oh. Oh, man. Minnow's still on there. Oh, well. Might as well box that one in, eh? Did you see that tug, too? Yeah. Shit, I grabbed it earlier. It's ice fishing for you. Right. On the edge of the ice. That spawning sack is smoked though. Yeah. That was a trout, dude. For sure. That's for sure. That sucks. Yeah, I think you caught him on the edge of the ice. That's why I was scooping out slush so I could see him come up. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, largemouth bass. Lungeon. Bum, bum, ba, wow. That's how you release fish, man. <laughs> That's exactly how you do it. They basically release themselves. Probably the biggest bass all day, if that's any consolation. On a spawn sack. Spawn sack, dude. You want a 3D 4KM or? <laughs> That looks nice, dude. That looks nice. It's a good, good fish. Short head jerks like a perch, you think? If it's a perch, it's a nice one. Yes. <laughs> Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Boy, look at that hook set though. That's exactly what a jaw jack you're supposed to do. That is the definition of being jaw jacked, ladies and gentlemen. It's nice because it makes them easy to throw back to. Jigging jackers, jackers in the champ? Yeah, right? What's that, like four fish now? Yeah. Not like, any cool fish, but. Well, whatever, fish or fish, man. I'm gonna, We're having fun. Gonna move this hole. Be proud of those bass. Mm -hmm. I'm not, but whatever. <laughs> all in all, it was a pretty successful fishing weekend. We got an opportunity to get out there and explore, find a new lake to fish in. It was a pretty typical multi species lake. We got the opportunity to use those jaw jackers to scout, which is really helpful. It allowed us to cover a lot of ground. Um, we caught a lot of largemouth bass some perch in there we know there's trout in the lake we just couldn't get on any of them but uh, we're gonna keep searching the area find a good trout splaker lake something like that that we can really focus on and catch a lot of fish 
weekend, though. Thanks for stopping by Jack Pine Savage Outdoors. If you could like, subscribe, ring the bell to get notifications, we'd really appreciate it. And again, uh, keep supporting our content, telling us what you want to see. Leave comments below.